Greetings people of the internet and welcome back to Maverick Baking and to another food review. So the other day the absolutely wonderful team at Mrs Tilly's here in Scotland sent me out an incredible Scottish treats care package and I'm so excited. So they just sent me a little note saying, hi Kelly, I have enclosed some of our new products, chocolate honeycomb and coconut ice. Hope you enjoy the Mrs. Tilly's team. So this parcel arrived and I expected just to be treated to their new products, but I ended up getting this whole gorgeous kind of hamper of their amazing sugar-based goodies and I'm very excited. So they sent me their fudge, they sent me their traditional Scottish coconut macaroon, not to be confused with macaron, the French or Italian treats. This is just good hardcore British sweetness. They also sent me some of their gorgeous traditional Scottish tablet. Very different from fudge in both taste and texture. This is going to be featuring in a separate video that might just involve a food fight. So stay tuned for that one. But in today's video, I am going to be tasting... Why did I do that? So in today's video, I am going to be taste testing their two brand new products that they were kind enough to send out to me. And that is their chocolate honeycomb, which is a deliciously indulgent honeycomb coated in creamy milk chocolate. Kind of akin to a Cadbury's Crunchy, but I'm guessing it might be better. And also their deliciously indulgent coconut ice, another Scottish favorite. I don't know if it's widely available in England, Ireland, Wales, anywhere else in the UK, but it's definitely a staple here in Scotland. So this is moist desiccated coconut with natural raspberry and vanilla flavoring. So I think I'm going to taste the chocolate honeycomb first. I love the packaging we have in this chocolate honeycomb. Let's see what we have inside. Oh, okay, they're quite big. So this is 100 grams worth of their chocolate honeycomb. And it smells amazing. So we've got some beautiful big chunks, big rustic chunks of chocolate coated honeycomb here. It smells like a nice, sweet, creamy milk chocolate. And I'm expecting a good crunchy, but then chewy honeycomb inside. Let's see what we've got. As expected, it's delicious. So you'll see on the outside that we have a lovely, thick, generous layer of that creamy milk chocolate on there. And that gorgeous, crunchy, golden honeycomb on the inside. I'm actually glad it's not as chewy as some other honeycomb I've had. I've had some honeycomb that can really stick in your teeth, but this is just gorgeous and crisp and crunchy. It's sweet, it's got that kind of burnt sugar caramel taste. And I've just read the back of the box. It is 44% chocolate, which to a chocolate freak like myself is a fantastic ratio of chocolate to honeycomb. I'm gonna give Mrs. Tilly's chocolate covered honeycomb a solid four out of five. I'm really excited for the second product because I haven't eaten coconut ice in years and I love me some coconut. Just look at it. It's so, so pretty. Like I said, I don't know if this is a thing outside of Scotland, but it's certainly something I've always seen. It's almost the size of kind of big sugar cubes and we have both the raspberry and the vanilla flavor in here. So obviously we're going to try both. So let's take out one of these white pieces, which I assume is vanilla. It smells amazing. Imagine the inside of a bounty bar. That is exactly how this smells. Let's give it a taste. So usually, and I only compare this to a bounty bar just because I think for you guys, it's probably the easiest comparison. If you're an American or a Canadian viewer, Compare it to almost the inside of a Mounds or an Almond Joy bar. It's that kind of chewiness, but it doesn't have the same kind of annoying flaky chewiness that a Bounty bar has. So this is basically a Bounty, but bitter. Let's move on to the raspberry one and see what we've got going on here. So it's just a faint smell of raspberry. Again, the dominant kind of smell is coconut, obviously. Let's see how it tastes. Oh wow, again, a really gorgeous texture. You have that soft kind of 
crumbling texture of the coconut ice part and just that little bit of chew from the desiccated coconut itself. Though the smell isn't that strong, you get a lovely kind of subtle but definitely noticeable, almost like a raspberry milkshake kind of flavour. None of the kind of sourness of a fresh raspberry, but it's definitely a nice kind of natural raspberry taste and it's quite subtle instead of being really kind of hyper artificial and overly sweet. Really, really, really impressed with this. Honestly, I'd forgotten how good coconut ice was and I'm really impressed that it's two flavours, the texture is good, the taste is good. It's beautiful to look at as well, which isn't easy to do, you know, because it's, <laughs> it's, it's hard to make chocolate and honey coal look good, but this is so pretty. I would genuinely have that as some kind of display in a vase if it wasn't already in my mouth. So I'm gonna go ahead and be generous and grateful and I'm gonna give Mrs. Tilly's coconut ice in both flavors, though mainly the raspberry, a solid five out of five. Would definitely recommend if you can get your hands on some. If you've ever tried some Mrs. Tilly's products, whether you're in or outside of Scotland, let me know in the comments and let me know what you thought. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss anything. But until next time, that's all my sugar fix for the day. So I'll see you later.